a simple thank you. Two words that started a mission for a retired Navy veteran. The Michigan native is in the Wabash Valley tonight, but how he made it here and how he'll get to his next stop is a story in itself. News 10's Michael Klaus met the man who's on a journey of thank yous that ends with a very special one of his own. In today's age, cars fill roads like these. One by one, they speed through life. But if you're lucky, you'll find one man taking the slow route. Two more months, I should be there, maybe two and a half. I'm, I have no timetable. When I get there, I get there. I'm not in a rush. I'm enjoying it. And uh, that's the way I want it to be. Charlie Peters is a retired Navy veteran from Michigan. Up until a few years ago, Peters didn't have a desire to share the events of his past. That is, until a complete stranger Good girl. said five simple Good words. Good girl, Maddie. Thank you for your service. And I was kind of taken aback, and I said, you know, you're the first person to say that in 45 years. No one's ever said that. That brief encounter led Peters to take a cross-country trek, inspiring others to thank our nation's veterans. So far, Peters has traveled 400 miles to right here in Bicknell, Indiana. His gradual 20-mile-per-day pace has led to a lot of conversations, conversations he hopes will spread. If you talk to someone that has been in the service that you know, just tell them thank you. That's all you need to, all you need to say. It really touches their heart. While his trip may seem sporadic, Peters isn't wandering. His final destination lies another 700 miles away in Oklahoma. There, Peters will visit the grave of the man who inspired him to join the Navy and to serve his country. I'll go to Oklahoma to my dad's grave site. He's a World War II vet, and I'll say, thank you for your service, Pop. But it'll be very emotional, very emotional. I'd rather do it by myself, no one around, but uh, I miss him a lot. While Peters has been on the road, his wife was in Hawaii, a paradise for some. But Peters wouldn't trade this experience for the world. And she asked, who do you think got the best end of this deal? And I said, I think I did. Why have a beach when you can have two trusty friends, the open road, and a feeling of fulfillment? In Bicknell, Michael Klaus, News 10. What a great story. Well, Peters doesn't know what he'll do after visiting his father's grave in Oklahoma. He's also had offers from people to buy the mules and the wagon. The wagon he's considering, but the mules, they're part of the family.